guys, M Tech Guy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a fault code that can crop up from time to time on these E60 M5s, and that's fault code 27B7, which relates to the brake vacuum pump being faulty. Okay, so what does the brake vacuum pump do? Well, if the engine doesn't produce enough vacuum for the brake booster, it needs a small pump to produce that vacuum for it. So what that'll do is that'll draw the atmospheric pressure out of the brake booster chamber down to vacuum. Okay, so what normally happens on an E60 M5 when the brake vacuum pump starts to fail? Well, normally when you start the car from cold, it'll go into reduce power mode, and then you give it a minute or two just to start to warm up. If you turn the ignition off, and back on again it'll seem to clear and everything will come right and obviously if you scan for codes and you get fault code 27b7 that's going to point you in the direction of the faulty brake vacuum pump right so what's normally the cause of this fault code because it doesn't necessarily have to mean that the brake vacuum pumps failed it could be some of the related components so there's always the potential that the brake booster itself has started to fail or the related vacuum lines but most of the time with these cars it's either the vacuum pump itself that's failed or the relay for the pump so the good news is, a lot of the time it's just the relay that's failed. The bad news is, it's a real pain to get to. It lives up underneath the dash, right under there. So how do you identify whether it's the relay or the pump that's failed? Well, first of all, you need to gain access to the brake vacuum pump, which lives under this cover here on a right-hand drive car. Obviously, if your car's left-hand drive, it'll be over that side. So you need to lift the pollen filter cover off and the tray that it sits in, gain access to the brake booster, and the pump's right there next to it. And the easiest way to test the pump out is have someone press the brake pedal down repeatedly up and down while you observe the pump. You may be able to hear it run, or if not, if you put your hand on it, you should be able to physically feel that it operates. Now, if the brake vacuum pump appears to be not working, the next step would be to check for the next most easiest obvious item, and that would be the fuse for the pump. So that's found in the glove box here, and it's fuse 23. Now if you do find that the fuse has blown, obviously you want to change it out, but it could be a sign that there's further trouble with the brake vacuum pump itself. It could be on its way out and causing the fuse to blow, so just keep that in mind. Now if you find that the fuse is okay, then it's likely that it's the relay that's failed, which is the most common item, and this can be confirmed by removing the connector at the vacuum pump itself and checking for power at the connection while someone pumps the brake pedal repeatedly. If there's no power there, then it's likely that it's the relay. If there is power, then it's likely that the pump has failed. You can always test the pump by giving it a 12 volt supply. But if you do find that it's the relay for the brake vacuum pump that's failed, like I say, it's right up there under the dash and it'll be a real adventure to change out, that's for sure. All right guys, so if your E60 M5 has been going into reduced power mode, combined with that fault code 27B7, then hopefully this video will give you some direction in helping you out getting to the bottom of the fault and getting it sorted. Now if you found a video interesting or useful, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW E60 M5 content. Consider subscribing if that's your cup of tea. I'm M Tech Guy. thanks a lot for watching.